We're at a farm near Fife that's in a bit of a pigeon pickle and I've come here to stir things up. Oi! Thousands of ferals are enjoying the free food and shelter on offer at this dairy farm. Life is good. But with the help of this sub 12 foot pound Daystate Airwolf, we're going to knock down as many birds as we can. So what a fantastic shed this is. This is a perfect place to shoot a pigeons. Hello, hello. And you can see all these big rafters. Plenty wide enough for them to sit on, nest on. Beautiful bit for bedding, them and everything. And fresh feed everywhere. Yeah, it's an absolute pigeon paradise. Yeah. So how did you come across this bit of hunting then? Yeah. Contact, boy. Contact. <laughs> so many birds and so many barns to deal with, it's difficult to know where to start. But the milking shed is a priority. On this freshly washed floor, near all of this equipment, there are plenty of calling cards. It's not until you come into a place where hygiene is really important, such as this, that you really get the scale of the problem here. The birds are nesting in here, just poo all over the place, and keeping this milking equipment clean is, is it's essential. Now we've been in here for about five or six minutes and we've already shot six birds. So not only are we providing a much needed service, it's also great fun. I bet Gilchrist couldn't get through there. Having said that, I only just squeezed through myself. The pigeons have really gotten a hold here. Too much farming to do and never enough time for pest control. Around each corner, there are birds on offer and I'm never too far away from a convenient rest to get a shot off. There's a pigeon sat on a nest up there, but right in front of his head is a very thick power cable that must be going to these lights or some machinery in here, so I, I can't actually take the shot. So I'm gonna try and get around the other side of it and come from the, come from the underneath. Sneaky little blighter. So the best thing about shooting pigeons on the nest is not just the fact you're taking out the next generation, but they also scritch themselves up into a little ball, which means they pull their head and their neck over their chest area. So if you do take a chest shot, you're either gonna hit them in the chest itself or in the head, or in this case, a neck shot. Either way, it's fatal. We leave the livestock sheds and have a look at where the pigeons are giving the farm equipment an unwanted respray. Now this is where it's a real problem. Expensive machinery, feed, equipment. Pigeons nesting up here, causing a mess everywhere. He's gonna be pleased these two are down. I tell you what, it's an athletic business pulling these fellas out. He's pulling right between these bags down here, but another one for the bag. The bag is building nicely, and the Airwolf delivers enough power and accuracy without putting holes in the roof. Well, this is the bird that Ian just shot off the nest, and as it's died, it's laid an egg. You don't see that every day, do you? It's going to take more than one bloke with an air rifle in a single morning to really make a dent in this population. But what a great morning it's been. We've had another cracking day on the ferals. So good, in fact, I've had to employ a barrow boy. Come on, Andy, take her away. <laughs> 